say that you think he should deserve that full season i did that i said that just because like the respect factor and the history that he has with the club and where where he's that's brought cr- dude that's like the craziest thing i've ever heard well, it's Sorry just to finish that well, wasn't me, fair it's just because where he's brought us from where we were the stability that he has brought us in some areas of the, of the team and the players he's brought in and Edward we're leaving and us like changing a lot of the backroom staff and like there's a lot that's changed with Ole because the standards that he came from is being now brought in so I'm like there should be a respect factor and being like give the guy a full season but it's also hard to watch as you as a fan hey, listen no one ever said the guy wasn't a good man manager and that is still criminally overlooked even then I would even say he's extremely adept in handling crisis management, given the United offseason, not not player wise, but just like with the ownership, like you said, with what goes on at the outside the stadium, what goes on sometimes inside the stadium when they can leap the fences. He he is a calming individual in a strange way at, at, at times where you really do need calm, which is why I think he's just he would be so much better suited as a number two. He would be so. Yeah so immensely useful as an assistant as somebody who can be in the locker room and still do all of the things that he does now but you just have a cutthroat game plan administered to what a badge that needs one there's no other way of doing it i agree with that but i don't i don't think he will be a number two ever i think he'll if he if he leaves he leaves and i think gary neville made a point about it and he said that ole is definitely in trouble but this isn't the time to sack him i think that's part of crisis management because you're going to have a the whole idea, the sacking a manager thing creates a lot of turmoil. Obviously, we saw Chelsea succeed from it, but they're also used to that. They're adept to it. That's how their team, that's how their club works. You know, Manchester United does not work like that. It's, if it happens, it's going to be for the worst. It's not going to go well. So that's why I'd rather see him finish out a season than see the club completely like to potentially that's a fall, fall in the turmoil. I was going to say that is a long think time. About Andrew. May, Andrew, think about it. Yeah, think, think about, think about if you lose another yet? center back, think about, <laughs> the, I mean, I don't think another manager coming in is going to make a difference if we lose another center back. I think it needs to be mid season. I think that's when the decision, if this form continues, you guys haven't won a game in like eight matches or something ridiculous. Well, it's not even that. So say, say that's like, see tomorrow, say something like crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Because, like, lost in a Champions League, like... Eight matches is... Dude, there's like, eight, it's okay. been eight weeks since the season eight, started. Eight's a stretch, it's a but... a lot of games, but... Yeah, but that's, but basically, like, Champions League, Andrew, that's, the, like, the, four. You're not... You're just not looking like... They will beat Chelsea Villarreal. And that Liverpool was their last right one. Oh. Like, that, there's not... You can't hold a candle to the top three, probably. So, that, no, yeah. that's the problem. It's not that, oh, what if they lose their next ten games? And it, I think that's obviously a little bit dramatic, given the bad form right now. But even then, that doesn't solve your issue of not being first or second, and it's a it's a really it's I, the hardest with bar the to team set now. you have, man. It, I don't think another manager coming in right now is will make us Sudan? win. Will they will make us win the league? I don't. I know that's United, not likely, and he's not going to probably do it. I don't think him coming in is going to is going to make tomorrow, us tomorrow. We're if, not winning the league this season. That's I feel fair. Like you were similar. You said similar things about Ronaldo, like when you were first talking about re-signing him. You're like, no, no, no. It's it's just not going to be the same. It's not the same player. And then you, he came, and everyone freaked out. I feel like Zidane would be the same thing, where people are like, no, just give it time. Yeah. yeah. But if he know. if Zidane showed even remote interest in taking that job, every Pretty sure he United has already. Family, yeah. I thought then, he did never want to play, but yeah. but. It was. I don't even. This could have been all bullshit. But I thought it was Pogba who was like, he's available, and this is somebody That's, we should like pursue yeah. because he. No, I. I, I mean, I don't think Zidane loses the game to Young Boys. Oh. I mean, I tell you what, and he, I, he doesn't. I don't he doesn't think, do a lot of the things that we're like, seeing. Andrew, because you, last one, it just two, looks three, different. Four, it looks better. Five, I'm looking at it level headed right now. I'm my like You're as right. a United fan, I am looking at it pretty level headedly in That's terms true. of like. Just understanding I think how you're the, way too casual, to be honest. I'm not being casual. You came in this. We, we you just stated we're eight weeks into the season, right? We're not. We're not losing. We're not dropping. You out top went four. from. We're getting top four. When you went from with Ole this season, we will get top four. You we went, will win the league, and eight, I don't think we will win the league with someone if another manager comes in, in right now. Eight weeks. I do you not, went. You went from thinking you had a chance of winning the league, and you were on par with the other four clubs in the league, in eight weeks, you've already dis- dismissed title hopes. Yes, Therefore, Ole needs to go. But that, okay, but that... 
So why are you going to give because him a I, whole season? I don't when think you have, have you're just you're not you listening. Ha, you have Pog believing at the end of the season. Ronaldo's gone. This team will could potentially fall apart if you slide to fifth, sixth, seventh with bad form by giving. Well, like, I don't think okay, that's going to happen. Listen, that might be, listen, like, that's that's not might be going drastic. To happen. That's not last, going to happen. Last seven games. Yeah. Pog Two was wins. gone. Two wins in seven Two games. Wins. Yeah, it's it's bad form. But okay, so one it's draw. Not going to ha- we're not going to draw. Four losses. This way. Get Premier League out of it. Remove Premier League from the situation. You're right. Maybe the the skill level, despite being a good team on paper, it's just not there to win the league. And and you can admit that, and that can be true. But are you okay with not winning, not winning FA Cup, Carabao Cup, getting bounced out of Champions League really no, early? Are you know. like that? Because that would be way worse to me. You can win FA Cup and call it a great season if you finish fourth or fifth in the premier league he, that's, that's still a substantial trophy to win but even then like i don't we'll that's nice. just he's not the guy who would win any of those things okay uh, that's fair but i'm also i don't think we will drop off so yes if we continue this bad run of form sack him by january and by the way and so but i don't think Andrew we are said, going to continue this battle yeah. i don't think we're gonna be on a stretch of games where we're losing like Arsenal did, we're not going to drop out of the top ten, top eight. And top in your six. defense, you you we're you not. were you were saying that you did you were sporting Ollie being out. I think that's still this kind of where you stand. Yeah, on I don't things. hate the guy. It does, but, I'm looking at it like yeah. that, right? We've shown but him some respect, and it's we're making you like, defend a guy who you've said I don't necessarily think he should be our coach. I know that's not easy either. So it's like putting you in a position where you're like, listen, I don't I don't necessarily want to have to defend this guy because again, I, I I even I don't really think that he's the exact guy for the job. But you're right. You're just maybe being too pragmatic for our yeah for our entertainment because like, like i feel like you've given them the benefit of the doubt already and like i'm i'm looking at it as more of a stability problem stability problem i think we'll lose more stability if we bring in a manager and it just goes to complete shit because our club is not does not function off that in terms of sacking managers mid-season it only it happened with Mourinho, and the only guy we went after was ole we could have signed somebody else. We could have brought somebody else in with more quality, with more. Yeah, it was yeah. weird too. It was volatile for because we could have was Mourinho. Oh, we brought him in because he would have brought us more stability. When we sacked more David Moyes, who became our manager, Ryan Giggs, who was a player manager. So yeah. it's like we don't go. He, for, he's a good guy though. We're not, so like give him the, the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. <laughs> he's done like nothing wrong. We, so. we, if you look at the track record of the past of since Sir Alex has left, the manager sacking has has worked the same way as play it safe and get someone in that can control the stability, the crisis management that we may face by sacking a manager in midseason. Because yeah. there's always potential of turmoil because just because of like tactics, new, new implementation, like different coaching staff. It's a bunch of coaching staff stuff and tactical stuff. Yeah, Zidane comes in, he brings a way better tactical style than Ole is currently. Pogba stays. Pogba stays. But I think if you, if, if think of the plan is, I think if Ole is given the full season and it's, it's still like shoddy and it's like f- we're going to get top four, but we're not winning anything. I think he'll be told before the end of the season, this is who's coming in. Yeah. And then you be finish the season out. Process. All the players are aware of it. They know. And then Pug, the likes of Pogba, the likes of Ronaldo are going to be more inclined to say, that's obviously a dream scenario. I don't know if that's necessarily going to happen. He's probably going to get sacked before that. I'm just saying from a respect and crisis management factor, we should play it safe. But, Right. It may work. Chelsea pulled off every. I mean, yeah, every couple could seasons. Finish second still. I do. First. I do want to move on, but there's been a lot of good United so, yeah. talk. I do have one more thing to add. Bring so you're saying Andrew going back to being like we aren't going to be in the Arsenal situation. Currently, right now, last three games you haven't had a win, just a draw against Everton, and your next two fixtures, next three fixtures are Liverpool, Tottenham, and City. Yeah. You could be in an Arsenal situation. I guess I think it all depends on Liverpool's game. It does. I think I think if we beat, if we draw Liverpool we'll be in, we'll be fine. I agree. I think I agree. we'll beat Tottenham and then we'll beat City because we usually have well, we always show up to City. We always show up to Liverpool and City. Spurs is kind of weird. Spurs is it a could weird be a six one game. It could be a three one game. We try it and make it as weird as possible for everybody. It's so yeah. annoying. I hate playing Spurs. Cause you just don't. You, know, you, you never know what you're gonna get. Yeah. Dire own goal. A cane match. You know you're gonna get a Liverpool. Yeah. You're gonna get a fucking close ass game. Both teams playing it safe. Yeah. Probably not too many goals. Not too many goals <laughs> unless she carries on the pitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. City, City is like one where it's sw- it, the pendulum swings of like I don't know like it's like how the first one. It's like goes. four four mm-hmm. or it's like yeah. or it's nil nil or nil nil ninetieth minute winner. Yeah. <laughs> say say Zidane does come to United oh, and no. they form this great team. Is the Premier League just too good now for like Newcastle in two years could theoretically have as good a team as the top four right now? It's not really like a oh the league's going to be over if this happens. I don't think there's anything that could happen now in the Premier League that would really 
drastically put one team above everybody else, which the way a lot of those teams have got their wealth is maybe what we'll call morally shaky, but like yeah. it's made for pretty good entertainment. There's just not enough players <laughs> in the world. Wow. Pretty good popcorn TV. <laughs> Let me finish it out here <laughs> with my take on Zidane and yes. we'll finish it out. It's kind of going to be a hot take, and people might not oh, agree. Dear God, we're, just supposed to, we're supposed to stop you talking about this. No, 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 it's it's going to be, it's gonna be very, is better than Klopp. No. <laughs> <laughs> he, okay, that, Zidane has very, very little experience outside of a of Spanish Agreed. football. Yes, Champions League record is... I'm here for this is, La Liga slander. Is, <laughs> Champions, League yeah, football, Champions League football is obviously like... Proven, but I'm just saying, like it's a different. The Premier League is a different league, and it's proven shit. And he's never proven himself outside of like what he was at at Real Madrid. Obviously, he's gonna get Manchester United quality players are there, but it's just it's not the cushion. It's, not the, it's not the cushion that he's point. used to. He's cushioned at Real Madrid more because they have they had more stability then. So I'm just gonna I'm leaving it at like we don't know how he's gonna perform. It's not it's not necessarily if a dream scenario. If it were, were to happen, happen. but I would welcome it. I'm not saying I wouldn't. Welcome it. Thank you.